Hello guys, this is the Hexagon Zero, and welcome back to Skyrim. Alright. Guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna climb the 7,000 steps to High Hrothgar. I haven't done this for a while. Only ever done it once, really. But there's a lot of steps. It gets quite high. Then there's a whole bunch of these everywhere. They're etched tablets. And I'm just gonna click on every one I find, just in case you guys want to read it. But along the way, there's a whole bunch of stuff that can try and kill you. By a whole bunch of stuff, I mean a whole bunch of stuff. Like I said, a whole bunch of stuff. So it's a fairly good idea to keep a weapon that you can use quickly, especially when you get into the snowy area. Right now, it's just kind of stone. But when you get into a snow area, I'm just going to kill everything I see moving. Except for, um, one guy. Oh, iron arrow. And I know they're just iron arrows and you don't really need to get them back, but I do anyway. Um. Yeah, there's one. I believe there's another guy trying to climb all the steps here. You don't see him for a while. Oh, there he is. Parknar. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're he I did. Stay yeah, it's me. Days. What are you doing? I like to spend time oh, the steps, meditate in the albums, doesn't hurt when a bag's on game along the way, blah blah blah. Do you visit the Grimvers and so take visitors, blah 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 blah. Blah. Okay. Or other essentials. Uh huh. But oh, that uh, was them too. I thought I missed one. That is the three. Okay, yeah, yeah, be quiet. All right, we're getting into the snowy area. Really, keep your eyes out. Because there are wolves and other things. Ice wolves, for example. Very, very, very annoying. Uh, wow, Riften's like way that way. <laughs> Actually, it's probably like right over there. I'm keeping the bow out because I know there's something that's kind of hard to kill. And it's... It spawns around here. Ooh! Aurora Borealis. And it spawns around here, essentially, and it's really hard to kill. So, be cautious. Probably hit a guard somewhere, and it's... Mm, I mistrust flappy things. I mistrust most things. Oh, 
music change. Ah! <sighs> always, always listen to music changes. Especially in video games, because that I wouldn't have known that thing was biting me until it actually bit me, because I was looking the opposite direction. That's where that goat ran. So always, always listen to music, because it will save your life. Now, I'm being extra careful, because I know there's something around here. It's going to be really hard to kill. And the reason why I'm not saying what it is, because I want the surprise effect. Of course, if you like me, you hate surprises. But I'm going to go against my own rule for you guys, because, and I won't say what it is. If you haven't played Skyrim yet, that is. don't know why you wouldn't have you can move up and down with a bow faster than you can move left and right so just someone else here keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to Hyrothka <sighs> I was just outside Iverstead when it happened just a pilgrim I'd prefer to leave it at that walking the steps meditating on the emblems okay crazy people <laughs> um, no they're not crazy I hope well, I wish I could take them with me Yeah, okay. I'm going to switch out to Lightning Bolt and Sword. This hand, okay. Yeah, it's right around here. Funny thing is, you're not actually supposed to approach from. Uh, High Hrothgar from this direction. If you're following the game's pathing, you should have gone directly from right run, which means essentially you go back up to Helgen and then keep going up the steps to High Hrothgar. There. You see that? That's a troll. But that isn't your regular troll, that's an ice troll. Now it's far enough away that I can pull out my um, bow. But I'm going to equip my, uh, which arrows do the most damage? <laughs> um, weapons, steel arrows, damage 10, iron arrows, damage 8, ancient nord arrows, damage 10. So steel arrows do me my arrow of choice. Ooh, look at that tip. Okay. I know I won't be able to sneak past it. I'm going to try and maintain higher ground. And I'm using my radar up at the top to scan for... enemies. Enemy, really, because there's only one. I haven't saved in a while. So I'm just going to save right here. I am nervous about doing this because the last time I did this I nearly died. 
course, I nearly die at everything, really. There it is. I'm here. Uh. Yeah, frostbite troll. Freaking annoying. But thankfully, I'm going to kind of exploit shit. Um, I'm going to kind of exploit. Ah. <laughs> uh, a little something. No, I don't want it in right hand. I want it in left. Oh, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> Enemy pathing path here. It regenerates, by the way. Huh. <sighs> Got it. It's dead now. Oof. I think there's only one. I hope there's only one. Because otherwise, this was going to be a really short trip. Now, the reason it's on this side, because this is the steps up to High Hrothgar here. And the reason why it's on this side is because uh, both the Helgen and the um, Iverstar roads intersect right there. So, <laughs> that, that thing scared me for a second. Uh, you can just pause the video and read these if you want. Um... Hold on. Let's just... Sorry about that, my keyboard got a little stuck. Um... Yeah, ooh, can't see anything. Yeah, my keyboard got caught in my mouse pad and I couldn't move my mouse for a second. Because my mouse is connected into the back of my keyboard through a... USB port. I suppose I could have quickly, um, foost the, um, the frostbite troll there when it was trying to slap me in the face, but I couldn't think of that at the time. So. do 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 do, 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 do. I'm not exactly concerned about enemies anymore because wolves I can just quickly slash or frost or hit them with a lightning bolt, but I don't think anyone would be here. Anyway, this is our Iharothgar. Where the Greybeards are located. And it is me that they search for. Whew. Empty chest. So all this is just essentially offerings. Oh, nightshade. Lovely. That's a nice offering to give to the Greybeards. Ugh. All right, here we go. All right. So, a dragonborn appears at 
this moment in the turning of the age. I am answering your summons. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Wait, what? Oh, hit them. Okay. Well, sorry, I didn't know you wanted to be smacked in the face. Do not be afraid. Your shout will not harm us. You sure? Poof! Didn't think so. Dragonborn, it is you. Welcome to High Rothgar. I wonder how many other wi normal travelers they greeted and just said, Shout! 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 Oh, it's not you. Get out. <laughs> you told me to. We are here to guide you in that You are not the first. Whether you are the only dragonborn of this... You are the only one that has been with you. Who are you? Blah blah blah. This is what I do in most speech games. I am an incredibly fast reader. So I just um we will do our best to teach you how to that is for you to discover. You have shown but do you have the So I just kinda read it incredibly quickly and then just skip ahead. If you guys wanna see what it says I don't know, buy the game yourself. There's a winter sale right on Steam right now. Of course, this episode won't be coming out during the winter. But, you know. Just wait for a sale. And also, the price has gone down significantly since when I bought this game, so, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einar I think my character has ADHD. The second word in unrelenting force. Roll means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Roll. Do I have to hit anybody with it? Use your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. Essentially, that means just hold down the key. Yeah, so on the keyboard, my default key for um, shout is a Z. So if I just tap Z, then it will just do force. And if I hold down Z, it'll do unrelenting force, which is foos row. something I do in a lot of games. I just skip ahead. 
Because normally I'm able to move faster than most of the in-game characters. Oh yeah. That way? Don't bother. You'll see why in a minute. Flows through me. <laughs> Feel the force. Here, Master Wolfgard will demonstrate whirlwind sprint. Then it will be your turn, Master Body. Now, your turn. Oh. Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. Okay. Come, Dragonborn. Attend to Master Bori. Ah, right. Um, I gotta remember how to do this. You have to switch it over to whirlwind sprint. Come, Dragonborn. Attend to Master Bori. Quick mastery of a new thune is uh, sorry, but my mic astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself, hmm. no, indeed not. But beware that your skill does not outstrip your wisdom. You are now ready for your last trial. That was quick. Retrieve the horn of Jurgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb. In the ancient fane of Ostengraf. Oh. Remain true to the way of the voice. And you will return. Okay. So the... Those are main missions. Now you can do those... Actually, you can do all of them quite quickly. Okay. Master interrupt us. But... That means that you fight the final boss in the game rather quickly, and thankfully in Skyrim, your level progression is based... Well, your enemies are based on your level progression, so if I'm a level 1 and I face the final boss in the game, it will not be as if the boss is facing a level 100. If that's the max level. I, ca I can't actually remember what the max level is. But, yeah. No doubt. You should focus on honing your voice. Okay, thank you. Good. Then you will be ready for what does it mean to be Dragonborn? Shouts and Dragon Language, and only four of you tell me about the greater Dragon he color. Was a great war after he finally came to Rin. He was the first to what Jurgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition. Okay. And the way of Board now. Sky gotcha. What is this? Now. This way. The reason why I say do not bother is this. Yeah. Due to wind currents, the wind is literally hitting you with ice shards. Or something along those lines. Either way, it hurts. Just don't do it. Wait. This opens the Skyrim?
Oh, damn. <laughs> That's a long way up. See, I haven't been in many of these places. Like, uh, my last visit to High Hrothgar was simply learning the new shout, and then that's it. And it is kind of worth talking to the Greybeards, just because they sometimes tell you things. Emphasis on th sometimes. And I don't think they get angry at you for stealing things, so... Considering you are the Dragonborn, which is kind of like their chosen one, so... I don't think they'll try and kill you, but don't take my word for it. <laughs> yeah, so I don't think they'll try and kill you. Just do. Yeah. It's okay. He's asleep. That's fun. All right, yeah, they don't utter a word. <laughs> Resist fire. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so that's High Hrothgar, and the road, and the 7,000 steps to High Hrothgar. So, uh, yeah. There you go, guys. Kind of awesome. Yeah, kind of awesome? No? Maybe? A little bit? Alright, whatever. You guys can say whatever you want. But, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like, favorite, comment, and all of that stuff. And I will see you guys next time. This is the Hexagon Zero, signing out.